you think? I mean, most of them not blitzes. Is, I mean, what changed for me, I would say, I'm speaking for myself, I'm getting more one-on-ones. Um, at the end of the day, uh, when a team decides that they're not going to slide to me, um, it's my job to win my one-on-ones. You know, I, as much as a defensive line cry by getting double teams, you know, when you get them one-on-ones, you expect to win. So, um, and we saw earlier in that game that, and throughout that game, that they thought that they could, I guess, block me one-on-one. And, you know, it's my job to win my one-on-one. So the last couple of games, I have, um, even in Detroit, I got an opportunity to get some one-on-ones, especially in the past game. And, you know, I'm going to bet, my, bet on myself um, much more than someone else, you know, leaving me one-on-one with a, their offensive lineman. You know, I expect to um, win my one-on-ones. So. Where are they turning the change? Hey, y'all, hey, hey, y'all mind? You know, they trying to do media? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What do you think? I'm just saying. Hey, damn. I mean, you know, but we ain't outside. So, like, we, like, damn, I can't even hear myself talk. Which, which, What's up? Which change? It, why, why do you think that they're giving you more one-on-ones the last couple of weeks? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, the teams we've been playing, um, even last week, like last week, I mean, I don't know what's the reason of it. I mean, I'm just, like I said, when they come about it, um, I'm not in their offensive coordinator, and they means the reason why I'm going to leave 98 one-on-one. You know, I'm not used to that um, going into games. I was expecting a slide, and we expect a slide for me. So at the end of the day, um, you know, I expect to win my one-on-ones. And, you know, if a team decide to come in and say, I'm going to block you one-on-one, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, the way this game go, do I want to win everywhere? No, I do, but at the end of the day, I know sometime, you know, maybe fatigue or whatever it may be that I may not win everywhere, but like I said, for the most part, I'm going to bet on myself one-on-one, so. Yeah, I mean, it's always exciting getting getting ready to play against former teammates. Um, you know, you, you know that they're gonna come and give their best game. You know, it's our job that, to go out there and, and just do our job. You know, not get caught up in their emotions because we know the emotions gonna be high. Um, you know, I, what the guy, what like three or four guys on defense I, that I could think of that, you know, that I'm sure they want to have a great outing against us. So at the end of the day, it's our job to go out there and make sure that they don't have a good outing. And, um, and I don't think I'm trying to see is any of my offense. I don't think none of my offense. But at the end of the day, like you know, it's our job, especially on the offense side, to go out there, make sure they just do their job. Like I said, the emotions gonna be high, I'm sure, from them. But you know, I think when it come down to things like that especially being around for a little bit. Just can't let your emotion get too high in the game and you know, let the play um, control itself. What do you have to prepare for when you're going up against Herbert, who's clearly got some high-level training? Um, I, I would say just first off, st- stop the run. You know, they build a team off running the ball. You got a great back in, in JK. Um, you know, he's looking like himself before the injury and, you know, much respect to him. Kind of talked a little bit, you know, throughout the offseason and stuff of that nature when he was even in Baltimore. So I think just to see him back to running the ball the way he run it, that's the way you kind of stop their offense. Um, and you get him to drop back um, one dimension team, I think we'll be a good, I think we match up well against them. Uh, we get them into passing down, but at the end of the day, I think, like I said, they come out, they got all these different traps and all that that they do to, um, to the defense line. So we got to be ready to stop the run first. And that's how you can be able to stop them. Um, Cause like I said, they. They try to control the game, and the way they control the game is um, first off is running the ball. And I guess that's why uh, Herbert has been looking pretty solid himself. Being able to get in, um, I guess, like second and short, maybe third and short. But at the end of the day, like I said, we got to go in there with a mindset that, you know, we got to be the most toughest team, being able to stop the run. Jeff, Glenn Boldinger put out a video showing your solid game and, and pointed out that you drew three holds. You ever remember drawing three in a single game before? No, nah, like I said, I just I go out there and you know most of them holes that I did draw it was one on one blocking. So um, like I said, I'm gonna put my money on myself every time if I get a blocker one on one with myself. Um, you know, you can't block a man, especially as old lineman. Can't do nothing other other than just try to hold on for dear life. So that's what they do and. You know, like I said, my job is to just continue to win my one on ones. You pretty keeps confident going into this week? Huh? You hopeful that keeps up with the one on one Yeah, that's that's hopeful, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, like I said, I don't go into games that 
And like I said, I didn't go into this game thinking I was going to get as many one-on-ones I, I was. So at the end of the day, I just have to be ready, keep working my craft. Because um, when them time come, you know, I'm, I'm sure my team expects me to be able to win a one-on-one. -on -one, so. You worried those that or are you pretty confident that the, that, that the obvious hold like that's going to uh, What What that? You ever worried they're going to miss something like that, or are you pretty confident that when somebody grabs you like that, you're going to get it? Man, I think they missed one earlier. You know, um, I think the great thing about, you know, in the game, you know, the, the guys in that white hat, they don't mind talking to you. And I went to him and I asked him why didn't he call the first one. He gave me a good explanation for it. So, you know, we as a deal, as a football player, of course we want to get all the calls. But at the end of the day, we know they're not going to call all of them. Uh, I wish, like I said, early in the game that um, their right guard ended up grabbing me on one of the run plays. And I wish I would have got that one. But at the end of the day, I know they're not going to call all of them. Uh, my job is to... And I learned that from one of our old coaches, just to go to him um, and just talk to him and see exactly the reason why he didn't call it or why did he call something of that nature. So, like I said, I'm not expecting to get every call, but, I mean, if it's right there in his face, it's one-on-one -on -one blocking, and he see a guy maybe try to rip off my elbow brace, you know, I, I'm sure he's going to call that. So. What effect do you think it could have that you guys saw some late-game adversity again but came through it with a win this time? You know, it should never got to that. Um, you know, we have to be better. Um, I think it started off, um, especially up front, when we letting the quarterback out the pocket. Um, quarterback had, I think, like 95 rushing yards himself off three big runs. So, I mean, we could just be better in, in situation of football. Um, you know, it won't get to that. Um, and that last play, you know, I didn't didn't expect it to go that way. Uh, I mean, like I said, I was in there getting triple team, and guys with Arden and Harold, they was coming, trying to get the quarterback on the ground. but. You know, that just showed that, you know, um, the, the resiliency we, that we shows and that we've been preaching throughout camp and since Cal have been here, that no matter what, you know, we're going to overcome the adversity. And, you know, that's what we did in, um, in overtime. You know, like I said, Hook uh, started with our offense. They went down and got the three points, um, had a hell of a drive. And at the end of the day, Hook made a hell of a play on the ball and call game. So. Have you noticed any difference in Artie's game at all the last few weeks? He's been wrecking a lot of uh, pressure, but so it's at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's come down to winning your one-on-ones. And every time he didn't got a strip sack and from Detroit and this past game, he won his one-on-ones off the edge. So um, that's what we expect out of Arden. That's what we expect out of everybody up front. And um, you know, hopefully we can get, keep, continue to get that plan from everybody um, because we need it. Um, that's the only way we're going to keep winning the games around here. I mean, we play physical. It's on film. Um, they know that. So I think you know their coaches are saying that to match our physicality. Um, so we got to go out there and you know do what we can do to um, stop the run. What is it against their run that you have to do specifically? Is it just simply being as physical as you need to be, or what? Good eyes. You got to have good eyes. Um, they'll pull. They'll pull guys. They'll they'll jet motion and you know kind of have guys moving at the same time. So you, your eyes are right. You usually do right. Justin Herbert's been doing a really good job taking care of the football. Mm -hmm. uh, what's some of those things maybe you can look at with this offense where you could take advantage in terms of the turnover department? Um, you know, disrupting receivers. You know, making sure that they don't get free releases, um, make sure we can throw off the timing, um, and just understanding where they want to attack us. And if we understand that, then you know, we'll, get it, we'll get our opportunities. We've known J.K. Dobbins has ability for years. He's finally staying healthy and mm -hmm. showing it. What, what separates him from, from others? Um, just strong runner. Um, strong runner knows what you know, the offense is asking for him, where to hit it. Um, and then also he just looks fresh. I mean, he looks like he's finally has some juice to him again, and um, he's playing good, playing good ball. Kamani, the fact that you guys responded to some late-game adversity that you've seen a few times now, and you did it in a way that resulted in a win, what do you think that can do for this group? Uh, hopefully a confidence builder. Um, hopefully guys you know, see the film and you know what, what it took to win and what we had to do to get the victory, and they can see that's going to happen every week. You know what I mean? You can't have any lapses throughout the game, and hopefully guys just learn from that and just gain confidence. You've talked about front to back this defensive work team together. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do you feel like in the last couple of games with the pass rush being there, getting to the quarterback, that that's also happening? Back yeah, um, it's been working good. Um, I mean, you see the production that we've been having the last couple games as far as just, you know, getting hands on the ball, some sacks, um, even some strip sacks as well. So um, just working hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, it's finally coming together, and I think that we're improving.
old saying is the turnovers can come in bunches. You yeah. feel like what you guys did last week can have a carryover effect to this game? Yes. Um, I mean, I feel like the last, you know, three, two or three games that we've had, we've been very close to having, you know, multiple turnover games. Um, we just got to just all about just keep doing it, staying on it, and just being exact. You spent a lot of time Thanks, with Mark. Elijah yep. Molden on the field. I believe his locker was right about mm -hmm. here as well. What's that going to be like, getting the chance to see him being on the other sideline. Um, it's going to be exciting. Um, Elijah's a hell of a player. Um, I was excited when he was got the opportunity to go to the Chargers. Um, he's a great player. He's, you know, he's going to do what he has to do over there. It'll just be exciting to see him you know, out there playing. There's a couple other familiar stuff. faces over there, too. How Does that feel a little weird when you see guys that were here just uh, you know not long ago? Um, not really weird. I mean, honestly, you know, you build relationships with these guys, and everyone wants to have a career in the NFL. So whenever they get opportunities to you know improve or go somewhere else and play, it's always exciting. Impressed with uh, with Elijah's numbers. I think it looks like he's doing pretty well. Yeah, impressed, but not surprised. I mean, he's a guy that's always been smart. He always knew what to do, so it's not surprising at all. Um, considering the situation, um, I feel like they did great. You know, um, especially just just coming into a game. A lot of those guys didn't expect or didn't think they would be thrown into the lineup. You know, getting those type of reps. But you know, guys go down. That's what happens in the league. And um, we was able to have a guy step up, you know, ready for the moment and, you know, just capitalize. Tony, when you first play, how does your body feel after eight days and how much does a week help you when you're maybe not getting ready for your practice or able to play Sunday? Um, I mean, a week, it takes a, a couple of days before you're back to, you know, feeling good. That's why it's, it's really important that, that first day after the game, you know, making sure you come in, get your lift, get your flush, get your body moving, get your blood back going so you're not just – you know, sore sitting around all day. What, what, um, how do you guys make sure the progress that you made on offense that, that you sustain it if, if Will comes in now and you don't have to kind of go back to where you were with Will and pick up from there and then you can pick up from where you've been with me? Um, I mean, just continue to do what we've been doing. Um, continue to try to limit our mistakes. Um, try to keep ourselves from beating ourselves and, you know, just go out there and play the ball that we know how. Um, Challenger. I mean, I feel like every week is challenging, and we're just going to go out and be the de best defense we can be and play our standard of ball. Coach Callahan mentioned how Justin Herbert is one of the premier quarterbacks in this league. What, what does he do specifically that helps ignite that offense? Uh, he's a great quarterback. He's, he's a great quarterback. And uh, like I say, we're worried about ourselves and what we got to handle. Then we're worried about our opponent later when we're playing against him. He also mentioned when you go up against an offense like that, you want to give them different looks defensively, so whether it's pressure or just uh, lining up differently. What's the challenge there? How Do you feel like this unit has done a good job of switching it up and trying to make the offense work? Uh, honestly, like I say, you keep saying like everything about we just worry about ourselves and what we got to get better at and take to the next game. Talking about your uh, well, I wasn't specifically talking about my game. I was talking about like the defense or what we have to get better at as a whole. But myself, I mean, got a lot to work on. You know, just getting woken up. What about you? You guys need Pollard. You're hitting like that, that, that wall that a lot of people talk about sometimes. Wait, say that one more time. Do you feel that, you know, you know, first year hitting hitting a wall, a lot of people talk about that, you know. I'm smiling right now. I ain't, nah. 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 I ain't hitting no rookie wall, man. You going through it? Nah, I'm great. <laughs> I'm living my best life playing football in the NFL. So, I haven't hit no rookie wall. I mean, some people probably do, you know, it's hard, but me, I just live day by day. I'm happy. Passing as quick as possible. Yeah. Um, haven't really told me anything yet. I just got in town, so uh, it's kind of new here. So we'll see. What's it like walking in the door for the first time on a new team, trying to learn faces, play, playbook? Yeah, I mean, it's the first time coming in through the middle of the season like this. But um, I mean, uh, as long as everybody uh, just happy to get a, build a relationship with everybody here and uh, you know try to learn the system and try to, you know, play my best ball and help the team out as much as possible. So that's that's the most foremost thing. How do you think you're looking seven? How do you end up with seven? That was my college number. Oh, yeah. um, so that's my favorite number. I always want that number. And uh, let, let me get seven. Seven was open, so I grabbed it.
Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you. Uh, Mike, sorry, real quick. I came in towards, towards uh, the end. Are you fine? The transition coming here, uh, kind of when did you get to Nashville? How excited are you to be with the teams? Yeah, I got here uh, this morning. Uh, literally just got here off the plane, came straight here. So uh, came straight from the plane to here. So uh, happy to be here. Um, so we just see how everything is <laughs> doing. Uh, so everything works out, but I'm happy to be here for sure, definitely. What kind of went into the decision coming over here, and then also what, what's your quick takeaway from this team? Oh, it's a, a team I always look at Tennessee, uh, no matter who's out there playing, they go hard. Uh, I've practiced against them a couple times. The joint practices get crazy, so I know how they are with the practice and everything, and then just watch them on film. Like I said, a very hard fought team and uh, very uh, sound and coachable. And uh, you know they do the they do the right thing all the time. So uh, yeah, with the plan is for here. I mean, however they want me to play, however they, whatever they want me to do, uh, I do it. Uh, just ready to play. I finally get out there and play. And uh, like I said, whatever they want me to do, I'll be out there ready, ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. you to be a part of a defense like this. Oh, I mean, they got guys, they got some good guys all over. Like I said, I know Amani. I know he's a guy. Uh, so uh, just be ready to take on that take on that uh, role, wherever it may be, and uh, just ready to make some plays. And I uh, just got out there with the guys, and hopefully I can pick up the system pretty well, as fast as possible, and uh, as, as good as I can. So uh, that's the main thing, is just trying to bond my teammates, try to you know build a relationship with them boys, and uh, that's, that's all that matters.